Okay, I'm going to point out some uh, features of the Valmatic combination air valve. So this is a clean water style combination air valve. Um, so combination being that it has both a large orifice, which is up here, and a small orifice, which is through this, that, that little feature right there. You can kind of see that little small orifice. So um, this valve is meant to relieve uh, large volumes of air when the line is dry and being filled with water. It'll all escape through the larger orifice. When the water level hits the float, it seals like that. So I'll do that again. And then as air accumulates while the system's running, this chamber could fill it with air, but it would be at system pressure. So that system pressure across that larger orifice might be more, um, you know, more upwards pressure than uh, the counteracting gravity of opening it. So that would actually stay shut if it weren't for the small orifice, which the weight of that float can overcome that and, and still allow air to burp out at system pressure. And so that's how combination air valves in general work. So um, what Pipestone does with our inventory and when we order from the factory, um, we always have a fusion bond epoxy coating on the valve. That's the best way to ensure corrosion protection of the main valve body. The interior is always stainless steel. Um, the elastomer, it's important to make sure we know what pressure it's operating at because the pressure is like below uh, like 30 PSI and the rubber is soft um, and so that way it can seal. If it's above 30 PSI, then we'll go with a standard rubber uh, softness or hardness or durometer, and that way it'll operate at higher pressures. <clears throat> so that is one of the most common things with air valves is if we um, use the harder rubber on a low pressure application, it might leak. So we gotta make sure we use the right uh, rubber durometer for the application. <clears throat> um, the bolts on the external are always with stainless steel. Um, that's how we order them, and we encourage uh, specs to be written that way. <clears throat> so with all of that, the valve is serviceable and um, can you know, work for long periods of time, and then when you need to work on them, they're easy to, to get into. Um, <clears throat> some features you can add. Uh, on the outlet, you can add a throttling device so that if this valve is subject to slamming shut, then... Um, that throttling device will restrict how fast air can escape so it won't allow the valve to close and slam shut so that happens when you have like vertical turbine pumps um, you're supposed to add a throttling device on those so that they don't slam uh, generally though in pipeline you're okay with just the standard valve you can also on these ports here and there's a port there you can add uh, ball valves there um, and if you were to have like a hose connection up on top, you could, uh, for a maintenance procedure, isolate your valve at the bottom here and then bring like a water truck with clean water and flush it out. So even in potable water, sometimes there could be sediment that builds up in here. Um, so if you, you know, if you want, we can go ahead and add um, valves here and here and have a hose connection. That way you can flush the valve out without actually taking it apart. Um, and just because it's here on our demo, I'll show you what this is. This is a flood safe inflow preventer. So if this valve was in a vault that could be flooding, and at the same time you have a water hammer that would, you know, draw a vacuum. If this valve happens to be under uh, in a flooded vault, then it would be sucking in dirty water into a clean water pipeline. So what this flood safe does, this has a very soft rubber seat. And uh, if this is underwater, then these ports are up and they're sealing that. So that way, if the vault's flooded and a vacuum is drawn, you're not gonna contaminate your clean water line. Um, this is an optional adder that you can add to the valve if, if there's a risk of that. But that's about, you know, uh, everything we can, you know, the features and the main uh, construction of this valve uh, and how it works. And, what we do to kind of ensure long-term use and easy serviceability.